In our last episode, we finally activated the Institute's nuclear reactor. The Institute is now independent from the above-ground energy grid, and they're really feeling their oats. We went to a directorate meeting in the place of the director to learn that the Institute is now planning to wage war against its enemies, taking the fight to them before they take the fight to the Institute. After attending the directorate meeting, we need to check in with Father to see how he wants to go about this. He takes a while to make it back to his quarters from the reactor room, but after a while he returns and we can talk with him about his plans. Ah, there you are. You've met with the director. I assume they made their intentions known? It was difficult for them to reach the decision to engage in open hostility. What about you? You agree with their decision? How long has this been coming? When did they decide on this course of action? The arrival of the Brotherhood's airship was the final straw, really. There's just too much at stake. We... You can't afford to lose it all. There's no good answer. Taking action puts us at risk. But inaction could be deadly. And yet, as a leader, you must make those hard choices. I think it's a mistake to lash out at anyone. It should be clear by now that if we wait, we will be destroyed. Acting swiftly is the only way to secure our position. It's the only way we can ensure the Institute's safety. That makes it the right thing to do. I'm glad you agree. None what comes next will be easy. That conviction may help keep us all going. You know, Father, it's no secret that you worked with the Railroad in order to first reach the Institute. The depth of your involvement with them has been called into question repeatedly. I'm sure you can guess by whom. The question is, where do you stand with them now? Do you count them amongst your allies? There are a number of ways this conversation can play out. These options can send us into three different dialogue trees. If we admit that the Railroad are still allies... I can't lie. They are allies. Well, I appreciate your... Honesty. I won't ask for details. I'm sure I don't want to know. But these people, with their twisted ideology, they seek to undermine everything the Institute stands for. Surely you can see that. How do you know what their goals are? You've never tried to engage with them. I've dealt with them far longer than you have. I've seen what they're capable of. The lengths to which they'll go to achieve their objectives. They want to free the Synths. To suggest they're out to destroy the Institute, I think that's too harsh. No. No, it is not harsh. It is the truth. They would see us all dead and buried. They want freedom for the synths, that's all. They're not a threat to the Institute. Of course, they claim they're about rights and freedom for synths. But those misguided notions have led to countless acts of violence. They're determined, and they won't stop. I'm sure they'd burn this whole place to the ground to free the synths. I know. I've been dealing with them far longer than you have. Surely you can see that you can no longer work with them? That the time has come to put an end to them, for our sake, for our future. I'm afraid this is an order. The railroad leadership needs to be eliminated. I expect a report when it's done. He orders us to destroy them. He doesn't give us an option to say no. If, however, we try to dodge his question... Does it matter? What are you getting at? I think it's obvious. How I feel about them isn't important. No, it is important. It's the only thing that matters right now. For the Institute's position in the Commonwealth to be secure, the railroad must be eliminated. Completely. As our primary above-ground operative and someone who has had previous contact with the railroad, you are in the best position to carry this out. So what I'm getting at, simply, is this. Are you willing to destroy them? He asks us if we're willing to destroy them. And we can also get to this point and avoid being ordered to kill them by saying that they mean nothing to us. They mean nothing to me. Never have. I'll admit. I'm relieved to hear that. Then I certainly hope I can count on you for what needs to be done. Because these fanatics cannot be allowed to continue to exist. They represent a very clear threat to the Institute. Small as they are in number, their twisted ideology ensures that they will never stop trying to strike at us. They must be eradicated. Are you willing to see to it? 
two of these options essentially agree to Father's mission. How do you want me to handle it? The details of the operation are up to you. I think I prefer not knowing them. What's important is that you come back safely. Remember that I would not ask this of you were it not so important. Good luck. You don't have to worry about them any longer. They're as good as dead. Thank you. Do what needs to be done, but keep yourself safe. However, if we refuse, or if we try to talk him out of it, we go down an additional dialogue path. There has to be some other way to deal with them. Something less drastic. No, not the railroad. This is our only option. I won't do that. No more violence. There's been too much already. While it might normally be a subject for debate, in this case, I'm afraid we have no choice. These people are zealots. They have continually shown no regard for human life in their bizarre crusade to free synths. They will not listen to reason, they will not accept reality, and so they must be destroyed before they can destroy us. Please, know that I take no pleasure in this. I have never been one to advocate violence. There is simply no other way. Can I count on you to do what needs to be done? You really want me to kill them all? This isn't about what I want. It's about what needs to happen for us to remain safe. Now, are you willing or not? I can't make that decision. I'm afraid the time for indecision is behind us. I need to know if you're willing to do this or not. And I need to know now. I'll get rid of them. Thank you. I realize this will be dangerous. Please try to stay safe. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. How can you say that? You know that if the tables were turned, they would not hesitate to wipe us out. I'm sorry. This is not up to you. It is an order. I expect it to be carried out. If at the beginning we admit that the Railroad are still our allies, he orders us to wipe them out. Otherwise, we find many different explanations as to why the Institute has to have them dead, which all ultimately lead to the same decision. We have to choose yes or no. And if we choose no, he orders us anyway. So much for being the acting director. Father has already decided. The directorate has already decided. And even though we're gonna run this place when Father dies, there is nothing we can do about it. But you know, from the Institute's perspective, this is rather inevitable. I don't think I buy the argument that if we don't act, the Railroad will eventually kill us. Because they won't. The only way the Railroad could ever harm the Institute is by using the sole survivor. If not for the sole survivors in with the Institute, the Railroad doesn't have a chance. They don't have the intel, they don't have the manpower. They're already weakened after being attacked at the switchboard by the Institute. This isn't the first time the Institute has tried to wipe out the railroad. They just failed to do the job last time and they're using us to get it right. It is true, however, that if given the opportunity and with the ability to do so, the railroad would destroy the Institute. Even though I don't think it's absolutely necessary for the Institute to destroy the railroad, and it's certainly not a priority right now, I must admit that the Institute would be safer with the railroad gone. At this point, if we haven't fully committed to the Institute, we could go back to the railroad and talk to Desdemona. We've heard some very disturbing things about you. That you've been to the Institute. That you're actually working with those monsters. You're lucky we don't shoot you on sight. If you did that, it'd be your funeral. You've overstayed your welcome. Who told you that? I'm not about to divulge anything sensitive to you. You must have some faulty intel. I'm not working with them. Perhaps, but we can't afford to take any chances. But I want to help you guys. Far too little, far too late. There's no way we can trust you now. Get the hell out of here and don't come back. And at this point in the story, after siding with the Institute at Bunker Hill, after siding with the Institute at Mass Fusion, after siding with the Institute at the Grey Garden Homestead, word has traveled round the Commonwealth, and it has certainly caught the attention of the Railroad's spy network. They're onto us. They can't trust us, and they refuse to work with us any longer. Which means there's no going back. 
We'll never be friends with the railroad again, so there's no point in failing father now. We could try to do this a number of ways. The stealthy option, which you know is always my favorite choice. Or we could go in guns blazing. There's someone else here. Oh no, you don't. Um, Get up! Get up! Something's out there! Let's do this. Threat eliminated. We're not alone. Right here. Right here. I'm already poor. Talk slipped away, huh? Smart move. It's only a matter of time. You should have given up. Damn. I really wanted that kill. Wait, did you hear target spotted? Just pathetic. These are the guys that the Institute is worried about? These are the guys that Father says we have to kill before they kill us? One man with one companion just destroyed whatever was left of the railroad. Granted, we are the sole survivor, we're the main character, so perhaps it would have been difficult for a courser with a battalion of synths, but somehow I don't think so. After all, the Institute nearly killed off the railroad without our help before we even emerged from Vault 111. The railroad is not exactly a difficult faction to destroy, but they were apparently priority number one. I honestly expected these guys to be a little bit more difficult, Deacon in particular, but I walked away with barely a scratch. Though I did find a glitch with Pam. I expected her to attack and be pretty difficult, being an Assaultron, but she kind of got stuck partially aggressive towards me, but also wanting to have dialogue with me. She ended up having an introductory railroad dialogue with me, and even after I exhausted the dialogue, she refused to attack even though she had a combative stance. After looting the dead and turning the railroad headquarters upside down for loot, we can head back to the Institute and tell Father the news. And so, the work is done. I am sorry. I know it was likely difficult for you. Nope. Not a problem at all. I regret that it came to this, even if you don't. There was just no way to compromise with those people. It was tough. Yeah. I assure you that there was no other way. Their fanaticism wouldn't have allowed it. It needed to be done, and so it's done. Make no mistake. It's never that easy. Not for any of us. You're confident the railroad is finished? As confident as we can be. It was always a loose network. But with the key players gone, it's not impossible that they'll be back someday. But it will take them time. There is obviously one final threat the Institute faces. What is it? What's this last threat? Well, perhaps it's not that obvious after all. Sure, there's always one last thing. You're not wrong, I suppose. There will always be issues that need to be dealt with, but this... This is something else entirely. There's just no end to this, is there? There is. And we've almost reached it. Just one last hurdle. Whatever it is, we can handle it. I believe so. But in this case, what matters most is how we handle it. The Brotherhood of Steel covets technology, and has made it clear that we cannot peacefully coexist. They will eventually come for us, and attempt to take what we've spent so long creating. We need to destroy them, before they can destroy us. Destroy them? What exactly do you mean? I mean we eliminate all Brotherhood forces in the Commonwealth. I don't know if that's a good idea. They're well fortified. Attacking them would be risky. It's necessary. That's all that matters. They can't reach us here. We wait them out, they'll go away. If I truly thought that was possible, we wouldn't be talking about it. But no. 
They'll find a way to reach us. You're right. We take the fight to them. I'm glad you agree. But the problem with the Brotherhood of Steel goes beyond the edges of the Commonwealth. It's not enough to destroy them here. There are more of them out there in the world, Father. And they too will come for us. He of course is talking about the West Coast chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel here. You have something in mind if that happens. I'd like to prevent it from happening in the first place. So even if we fight them here, eventually we're screwed? Oh, not necessarily. We can defeat them now, we can defeat them again, if we have to. Possibly, yes. But it would be smarter to put an end to it now. Not necessarily. Teach them a lesson, they'll stay away. That is precisely my intent. We will teach them a lesson. We will show them that if they interfere with us, the very technology they value so highly will be turned against them. We will teach them that we can appear at a moment's notice wherever we please, and they cannot ever stop us. They will know better than to ever interfere with us again. So we're just going to attack them? There's a plan that's a little more involved than that. I don't know if we can pull that off. I don't see that we have a choice. And with you leading the charge, how can we fail? And if we fail, we're just making things worse for ourselves. We won't fail. You seem pretty convinced this will work. The Institute is nothing if not thorough. Dr. Lee should be expecting you in her lab. She can fill you in on the details. Time is of the essence. With that, we complete the quest, end of the line, and begin the quest, Airship Down. Sounds like Dr. Lee has a plan to take on the Brotherhood. And it may be a little bit more complicated than simply walking into their headquarters, guns blazing. But you know this, this actually makes sense. Of course the Institute has to take on the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood floated into the Commonwealth and declared war on the Institute. They will do everything in their power to destroy the Institute. It's not just Maxon's plan, it's embedded in the DNA of the Brotherhood themselves. No one on this planet is capable of preserving and safeguarding technology but the Brotherhood. That's their perspective. And if they find any other power with technology, they will take it. So this makes sense. I understand why they wanted to kill the railroad, because the railroad is annoying and the railroad steals their synths, but I don't think that without the Soul Survivor's help, the railroad really is a threat to the existence of the Institute. So destroying the railroad, I think, was a bit of a step too far. But apparently, Dr. Lee and Father have a plan to not only decisively defeat Maxon and his Brotherhood of Steel here in the Commonwealth, but to send a message to the Brotherhood at Lost Hills, on the other side of the continent, to teach them a lesson that we will use their own technology against them. What does that mean? What do they have planned? To find out, be sure to tune in next week. I publish new videos in this series each and every week on my channel, so if you don't want to miss it, be sure to subscribe and to click that bell notification button. If you have already, but you still feel like you're missing out on YouTube notifications, consider following me on Twitter at Oxhorn. I update Twitter manually with every new piece of content that I publish. I've got a shirt shop with completely unique designs that you can't find anywhere else. My designs come on shirts in a variety of men's, women's, and children's sizes, and in a wide array of colors. You can find them on other products as well, like smartphone cases, pillows, posters, mugs, stickers, prints, etc. So if interested, you can find a link to my shop in the description below, or you can click here. If you like what I do and you want to support me in another way, consider giving me a super thanks on this video. Your super thanks directly contribute to the production of this series. You can become a patron on Patreon or a member here on YouTube. YouTube members get little badges that appear next to their names in the comment sections of my videos and access to aux emojis they can use in my video comments and in the live chats of my live streams. But more than anything, I'm just so glad you're here watching this video with me today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with the next dramatic chapter in the full story of Fallout 4.